Hey guys, Joyce and Anthony, aka JJ, and I just finished creating this scene in Blender. I'm actually taking a course right now in Coloso, the 2.5D lo fi aesthetic animation using grease pencil in Blender. Once I actually finish the course, I'll make a video about it. And yeah, I've learned a lot so far in the course, and let me play the animation. Okay, but the real reason I made this video is because a couple weeks ago, I bought this add-on by the 2D, 3D master himself, Deduce, the simple animation graph. So actually, I need to install it, so I'm going to edit preference add-ons, and I'm clicking the drop-down, because I have it, um, the zip file downloaded on my desktop. So let me go to my desktop, scroll, scroll all the way down to get it. Okay, there it is. So now let's go back to the scene. Okay, I'm gonna press shortcut in and it should appear in the tabs. Let me scroll down to animation. Okay, there it is. So to play around with the add-on, um, I'm gonna press in again for it to disappear the sidebar just for a second. And I'm going to just unselect everything. Uh, Shift A, and I'm going to add a UV sphere. Okay, it's way too big. I'm pressing S to scale it down, and then G to move it from the washing machine. Scale it down a little bit more. Um, I want the UV sphere to match the scene. So off camera, I actually went into shading, and I adjusted the colors. Okay, I'm gonna click layout. Okay, so I have, I'm gonna be doing three different experiments with meshes. Okay, it's good to go. So now I'm going to draw the path that I want the UV sphere to follow. And I need to go click um, annotate, annotation. Well, actually first I need to change my pivot point to 3D cursor. Um, I'm clicking shortcut shift S cursor to selected. Cause after watching Deduce's tutorial, he said that that's important, making sure that the cursor is um, selected. And then I'm gonna go to annotate. And now I'm going to draw the path. I want the UV sphere to roll on the floor to the ceiling back down again. So I'm gonna draw that. So what you do is you draw the path that you want and then you dictate the speed with the, with the ticks. So the farther apart the ticks are, the faster it goes and it, like the closer the ticks are to each other, the slower it goes. Once I finished drawing the path, and I actually sped this part up, I realized that I made a mistake. So I went back and I deleted it. If you look at the placement at the top left, I have the placement as 3D cursor, and it actually needs to be surface. When you want the ball to, or whatever 3D mesh, and you want it to actually interact with the surface, you need to change that. So yeah, I went back in and I, cause if I kept it at 3D cursor, it would kind of be floating and I want the ball to actually touch the walls and the ceiling and then back to the floor. So yeah, let me go in and fix that. Now that that's done, I'm gonna press the shortcut in again. And I'm going to click animate. Oh, sorry, I'm playing with the settings. Animate position. So now it's going to make an animation for me. Oh, there you go, at the bottom. Oh, okay. And 
and I have the keyframe step set to two again you can always adjust that so every two keyframes it's a new wait let me play okay okay so I need to uh, it kind of cuts off because I need to extend the the length of the animation okay I changed the end from 50 to 100 actually a little bit over 100 okay so now let's play it <laughs> that's cool this is fun For my second experiment, I've, off camera I added two more shapes. So let's see, for my second experiment, I wanna, if you go to advanced settings, you can click use axis. So right now it uses X, Y, and Z. I want it to just use the X axis. So I'm going to go in and I just wanna see where it's, it's okay. X is like left to right, which I knew but just in the scene, I'm going to just double check. Okay, so I'm going to go to annotate and uh, should it be 3D cursor? Uh, actually, I think I, I right, right here, I'm like, okay, let me take it back to surface because I want it to interact with the scene. Uh, okay, let's see how that looks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I should have just I should have just drawn a line. So let's turn on X, Y, and Z and play. Let me delete that. I'm, cr I'm pressing Control Z to undo. So yeah, let me turn on X, Y, Z, then redo animate position. Yeah, that was I like that. For my final experiment, I was trying to see if I could do a animation back to back to back with the three different meshes. So I finished the animation with the UV sphere. For the cylinder, I'm going to see if I can do the animation right after it. Okay, and I'm gonna press in. Oh, for the use axis, I put it on Z and I forgot to undo that, so let me play that. Okay, that's not what I wanted. I wanted the UV sphere to go, then once it finishes the cylinder, so I am clicking right now Control Z to undo and turning on all of the axis, X, Y, and Z. And then I clicked Animate Position I wanted to see how the cylinder did first okay so the cylinder it's confused on which path to do I wanted it to go up and then down but it's copying the UV sphere so what if I change the the timing of the animation X I need to make sure X Y and Z is selected Yeah, I'll keep it linear and then animate position will that do okay oh but see the cylinder is still confused it's using the UV spheres path okay okay well this UV sphere and then the cylinder goes so we got half of it right I am going to start over and I actually watched his tutorial that he has on his channel where he actually goes over this. I always kind of jump in. If I would just, you know, read the instructions or the tutorial, it would give you the answer. So what you do is first you draw the path for the first object. Okay, now that that's done, I'm pressing in and then making sure 
X, Y, and Z. The axes are selected and then animate, sorry, animate position. Let me play that. Okay, that's exactly what I want. And now I'm gonna move, make sure the animation starts at the end of that. And then I'm going to, make sure you always save your work, Blender crashes. Um, I'm going to select the cylinder and then Shift S, cursor to select it. And then I'm gonna draw a new path for my cylinder. I'm going to do the same thing I did for the UV sphere, pressing in, animate position. Okay, good. And then I'm going to repeat the same process for the third object. I call it the donut. Okay, now that the path is done, in, animate position. Okay, good. I think I did it correctly. So let's start from the beginning. I want all three objects to play at the different times that I selected. Okay, let's see. The UV sphere, the cylinder, the donut. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for watching as I played with Deduce's animation add-on in Blender. This is Joyce Ann Anthony, aka JJ. Until next time.